Hey, Nicole Geo here with Broken Arrow SEO, a division of Scene Enhanced Marketing. Hope you're having a great day. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today, we're going to be going over three easy ways to beat your competition online. Those three things are content, backlinking, and citations. So we're going to jump right in here, Nicole. Got your website pulled up here. Andy Lewis, heating and air conditioning. Overall, pretty good website here. Like the uh, caricature. That's awesome. Uh, always love unique websites like that. Um, and yeah, you just really good layout here on your homepage. Linkage to Google and Facebook. Some testimonials, always key. A little chat bot here, bottom right. Uh, images of actual services you guys offer products you offer contact page at the bottom so overall pretty clean solid home page here to your website now we recommend anywhere from 1500 to 2000 words nicole on the home page alone of any website we build out the reason for that is google crawls these websites and they're looking for buyer intent keyword phrases right so for your industry for your area you know charlotte hvac best ac contractor charlotte best heating and air company charlotte you get the idea so over time google crawls these sites they really focus in on the home page they're looking for those buyer intent keyword phrases and they start pointing potential customers to you uh, from people who are searching for your services online so i hope that makes sense so the next thing i want to talk to you about nicole is backlinking not all backlinks are created equal very important to remember that what is a backlink it's just a website or another website rather or a domain that provides power and influence back to your website and similar to the content we want it to be industry specific so what that means is you're gonna have a much better time gaining that necessary power and influence for your website when you go over or pardon me go after backlinks that have to do with your industry so plumbing supply companies HVAC supply companies home improvement companies you get the idea much more power and influence is going to be gained from those type of backlinks than say the local Pizza Hut or a Macy's department store website. So I hope that makes sense. Now, a third party tool we use to measure backlinking, traffic, organic, keywords, etc. Just analytics in general is called Arifs. I've got your analytics pulled up here, as you can see. So not bad. I've seen a lot worse, but also tons of room for improvement here. As you already know, HVAC industry offers so many different types of services. So let's check, click on your keywords here and see what you guys got going on. See where you're ranking at the best. Uh, over here on the left, your organic keyword phrases. Over here on the right, the position on Google that you're currently ranking for. So obviously you're going to be at the tops for uh, anything with your business name in there, right? So as you can see, your tops there. But let's scroll down the list, see for any, you know, Charlotte area uh, keyword. So Charlotte, North Carolina HVAC contractor, second or third page here in the 16th slot. We'll jump over to the second page here. Heating and air, Charlotte, North Carolina. So, you know, you guys are on that second page, which may seem not too bad, but the truth is no one is going to the second page of Google for these keyword searches right they're going to stay on the first page they're organically going to find a different company before they get to you guys so that's just the truth now for comparative purposes did a local search here hvac charlotte north carolina as you can see i'm going to click on one of your competitors uh, i believe it was hornvac are they on here yes hornvac.com boom click on their site throw their website address into our third party tool look at this these guys are absolutely crushing it out of the park, Nicole. Okay, 2,500 keyword phrases. They are just absolutely killing it from an online presence standpoint. As you can see, HVAC Charlotte, boom, first page. Heating Charlotte, boom, first page. AC installation service near me, boom, first page. So just absolutely destroying it and taking on pretty much daily new online business from the strength and power of their online presence so strategy we use uh, concerning backlinking uh, when we want to go after that same type of power and influence shoot just go after the same backlinks as the competition right so we'll do one together remember we want it to be industry specific so we'll click on their referring domains okay so here we are scrolling down the list handyman reviewed looks like definitely relevant to your industry right 
And doesn't look like much here, Nicole, but what's happening is Horn Heating and Air Conditioning has embedded their website address, their URL, somewhere onto this handymanreview.com website. And handymanreview.com is providing that necessary power and influence back to Horn Heating and Air. And so just like with the content, Google's recognizing that over time, that these guys have gone after reputable backlinks, and they're starting to rank accordingly. And so that's how backlinking works. So the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, Nicole, is citations. Citations extremely important and sometimes get lost in the shuffle of the online digital marketing and SEO world. Now, organic rankings commence here and are based entirely off of backlinking and content. This local Google My Business map pack rankings, or the top three as we like to call it, based entirely off citations. Citations are just merely directories online where you can list your company's information. So business name, phone number, address, Yelp, Facebook, white pages, yellow pages, just to name a few. So what's happening here is these three have more citations than any of the competition. Now, same strategy as the backlinking, we tell our clients, go after those same citations as the competition. But not only that, once you go after those same citations, you develop a space cushion. You go after dozens and dozens more of citations so that over time, you're going to emerge nicely into this top three. And by the time the competition realizes it, Nicole, they're not going to be able to catch up because you're just going to be continually adding on more and more citations, more and more backlinking and taking on all that new business. Worth mentioning that if you're like me, Nicole, I don't typically scroll past the top three when I go on to Google searching with buyer intent to purchase a product or a service. Why would I? I've got reviews at my fingertips, linkage to the website, location. It's all right there. Why would I even need to scroll down into the organic rankings? So that's why we really like to stress the importance of citations to business owners so they know how important it is to get in to this top three here. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you about, Nicole, is Facebook and just social media in general. Looks like you had a decent page here going, but it's sort of been dormant, I think, since April. Uh, at some point, probably someone internally was running it, but it looks like you guys have taken a step back. Not bad, 800 followers. Just want to show you what's available there. This is a restaurant, local company, uh, whose social media I run for them. We average three to four posts weekly constant engagement with the community obviously we promote their products and services but we get into custom videos as you can see here paid ad services it's really endless the directions you can go the angles you can attack from a strong social media presence so i just wanted to show you what's available in that regard when looking to promote your business online so Nicole, just to recap, initially we went over content and stressed the importance of 1,500 to 2,000 words of buyer intent content on your homepage alone. We then jumped into backlinking and did a brief tutorial on the importance of having strong, reputable, industry-specific backlinks to provide the necessary power and influence for your website. We then jumped into citations and really hammered home the importance of citations and how they correspond directly with the local Google My Business map pack rankings. And then most recently, Nicole, we touched on your Facebook page and just how it looks like it's been dormant for a while and how there's just so much more opportunity when you have an active presence on social media. So in closing, Nicole, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is 100% free information, so if you want to do this yourself, I completely understand. I'd even be willing to shoot you over a screenshot here of your analytics from our third-party tool just for your records. I have no problem doing that at all. However, if you would like my help with this, be more than happy to chat. Our website is www.brokenarrowseo.com. Phone number 918-265-1410. If you're on your mobile device there, you can just hover over that, click on it. It's going to take you directly to my phone line. And like I said, be more than happy to discuss things with you further. Nicole, in closing, thank you once again for taking the time to watch this video. I really do look forward to hearing back from you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.